I'm Talia. Hi, I'm Maddie. And we live in our Sprinter van. With our sweet dog, Bowie. Come on in, we'll show you around. This is our entrance. We built a little shoe cubby here and we have a rough mat to wipe our feet. Right now we're in Baja, Mexico, so we're constantly on the beach and we don't really like sand getting into the van, so this is perfect. This is the front cab. This is a 2005 Dodge Sprinter. It has a dually wheelbase at the back, which is really great. Oh, during the build, we didn't have to think about weight distribution um, and it just makes it a very stable drive. These chairs are both swivel uh, and they're extremely comfortable. I think they're from an old RV and we love them. We also have a diesel heater under the front seat that keeps us nice and toasty in the winter. So this shelf is extremely useful. It's basically our quick grab miscellaneous shelf. Uh, in the left, we have the, one of these like down sleeping bag blankets. That's good for really cold nights. This is our shower stuff. Some quick warm sweaters and sweatpants just so we can easily grab when we want to get cozy. And then over here, we have all of our lighting. So outdoor string lights, some beach towels, our camera tripod. We have a curtain rod here. So this is an insulated blackout curtain and it goes all the way across and just like that. Hi guys, my name is Talia. And I'm Maddie. And we've been together almost five years now. Um, Crazy. Back, we're from Toronto, Ontario in Canada. Back at home, I'm a nurse. And I was teaching grade one last year. And we've been thinking about doing van life. I think the biggest push was getting this dog, Bowie, because we love traveling and we just didn't want to stop traveling because we had a dog and we didn't really want to bring him on a plane. So we thought van life is pretty perfect for that. So. Maddie was basically obsessively researching vans um, and she stumbled upon this one. We were super lucky to find this van actually uh, on Kijiji in Toronto, very close to where we live. Welcome to our kitchen. This is the space where Tally and I cook. Tally is a really good chef, so we wanted to make sure that there's lots of space for us to do all of the things we like to do back when we had a bigger kitchen in Toronto. This whole unit is actually a bathroom vanity that we got from Habitat for Humanity. So it was pre-made. Um, it was a little bit taller when we first got it. So we knocked off the legs on the bottom and then we added this strip in here to build it up. Um, now that we're living in the van, we actually are realizing that we would like to build it up a little bit more as it is kind of low. Um, that all happened because we wanted the window here to be um, as big and open as it is now. So I'll show you a little bit of what we keep in here. So this top drawer, we keep all of the things that we use the most, all of our cutlery. We keep our sunglasses, some extra hair things. Um, a camera, a notebook, some pens. In the second drawer, we have more of our cooking supplies. So we have pots and pans. And then down at the bottom, we that's where we keep our induction cooktop and some Tupperware and other little bits and bobs in the kitchen. We decided to go with a big sink because it's much easier to wash dishes. And even still, it's a little bit tricky. So I can't imagine having gone with a smaller sink. Over here, we have our spice rack. This is one of our favorite parts, I would say. So we have all of the spices we use the most. This is a magnetic spice rack and we put all of the spices that we use the most here. So that's super accessible. We also went with this stick on tile backsplash here on both sides. Uh, we both really love the symmetry and the nice little flare it adds to the kitchen. Uh, this is our nice faucet. It comes out like this, making washing the dishes a little bit easier. So this is a fruit basket. We kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, but it definitely does the job for onions, limes, garlic, the things that we like to use a lot in the kitchen. And this was one of the first things we bought for the van, so that's kind of fun. This is actually a cute top from a candle. The candle is now broken. We learned that in uh, week one of van life. <laughs> this is the light switch for the three 12 volt 
pot lights that we have underneath our cabinets. They're a nice warm lighting. Above the light switch, we have the outlet here, which we use for an in our induction cooktop. And then up here, we have two cabinets for storage. So this one here on the left has all of our coffee things, as well as some plates and bowls. Over here, we have all of our food items and nothing fell out because we have these super cool RV stick things. I don't know what to call them, but they help to keep our food in. Uh, these cabinets are definitely something that we are the most proud of making. We used a big mirror that I found in my parents' house that fit perfectly onto these faces. So that's how we traced out the moon shape. And then we used this rattan and stretched it and stapled it to the back. And we're so happy with the way that they turn out. I feel like they really make the van our van. And uh, inside here we have magnets that help to keep the cabinet shut. So we have one on either side, as well as these gas struts um, that hold the cabinets up so we can get things out without having to hold the cabinet. Another part I like, we have this little ledge back here behind um, the cabinet in front of the window. So we have space for soap, little plants, any little things that we collect along the way, like this cute plant that we just got. <laughs> Love this little guy. He fits perfectly. So this window is a big part of our kitchen and there are kind of a few pros and cons. Depending on where we are, we do really love the natural light, but the actual window is very see-through. It's not tinted like any of our other windows. So when we are somewhere where we want a little bit more privacy, or maybe if the sun is really strong, um, then it's definitely a little bit of a downfall. We do have a cover that we put over, but because we like the little shelf, it's a little bit harder to take the cover in and out. Um, so right underneath our sink is where our gray water tank is. We have a five gallon gray water tank, which we end up dumping about every day or every other day, depending on uh, what we're up to. It's also a space to store some extra kitchen items and some extra food, some water bottles. And we also keep a whole bunch of cleaning items under there. And we have these super handy little latches on the bottom. So we normally just use our foot to press it in and then it latches shut so nothing flies out when we're driving. Now it's time to take you to the next room, our living room and lounge area, also part of the kitchen. So this is our lounge area. This is our couch. It's big enough for Tal and I to sit next to each other, which is great. And we also have the swivel chair across so one of us can lean back here and somebody else can lean back in the swivel chair over there. It also doubles um, for our fridge storage and Bowie storage. So it opens like this. We have another gas strut, which is awesome. So we don't have to hold up too many things. And then we have our fridge here, which is big enough to fit lots of things. So we have a 12 volt Dometic chest fridge. We went with the chest fridge because it's really efficient for energy and it also is much bigger than some of the other options. So we're able to do big grocery shops and feel like we have room for everything. And then over here we have Bowie's special area. So we keep Bowie's food bowl and his food and some toys in there for him. We also keep some ramen in there because where else are we going to keep it? And then back here we have a nice charging station for our phones. So we have two USB ports there along with the on off switch for our inverter. Over here we have our battery monitor. It's a pretty simple battery monitor, but it does everything we need it to do. We have two light switches for the front area and the back area, as well as two plugs that can run our 120 volt electricity. Bowie also loves to sleep on this bench, so it's pretty fun that his food's in there and it's also his sleeping area. This is our bed area. It's almost a queen size bed. It's a little bit shorter, but that's okay. Neither of us are really that tall. Uh, it was a custom size mattress, so it's not just like a dingy little piece of foam, which I know a lot of vans have, so that's good. 
Uh, we have a 12 volt fan here. It can move around um, and we can swivel it down uh, to make sure Bowie stays nice and cool. Uh, we have a little mirror on the left side if you want to kind of sit and like do your makeup over there. Uh, on either side of the bed, we have two little nightstands. We got those actually for super cheap, six Canadian dollars from Ikea. We were going to make them ourselves, but you can't really pass up that deal. Uh, we also each have some 12 volt reading lights that are really great. Um, they also have little USB plugins that we can charge our phones through. Uh, we keep some books there, our phone, maybe a little plant. We had a small succulent, but it didn't really uh, survive that long. But we're in the market for a new one. We have a 12 volt max air fan that can pull in air and suck air out. Um, so it kind of is also our kitchen fan. We have white linen curtains back there that if we have the back doors open, they still let some light in, but they keep us nice and cozy inside. And they also double as a bug screen. Throughout COVID, being a nurse and being a teacher, both of those careers have been seriously impacted. Both of us were pretty overworked for a little while. Um, so I think we thought this six month trip will just be a nice reset, refresh, um, and just kind of keep get work out of the brain and just get a bit a bit more balance in our lives mm -hmm. just something i think about often is how much we loved backpacking together and how this is just backpacking on this like whole new level you basically have this is your backpack now like it's yeah. our van yeah. and we have everything we could possibly need yeah like essentially on our backs and we can go anywhere. Yeah. It's also crazy that we've learned that people ship their vans. Like being here, we've actually seen lots of European plates. And so the other night we're going to bed and I'm like, Tal, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm just looking at how much it costs to ship our van to Europe. <laughs> Cause it's actually a lot more accessible. Yeah. And just, you know, this whole world opens up for you. And mm -hmm. the more you talk to people, you realize that people are living such different and wonderful lives yeah. and it, it as opposed to you yeah know, there's this whole world that exists out of our yeah. little toronto bubble where people are like following such you know similar steps it's also been neat meeting i think in the beginning we thought we were just going to meet like people our age around our age or like generation it's been kind of neat meeting some friends that are our parents generation or even older and seeing them like live this similar lifestyle and it's so it's so inspiring. Yeah. This is our bathroom. So we built this door. We're super proud of it. It also has a latch just like the other cabinets in the kitchen. Uh, at the bottom we have our uh, Thetford Porta Potty. So it's on a drawer and those drawer pulls can actually hold up to I think like 300 pounds. So don't you worry about falling or breaking those. The toilet, just like that, it actually also has a flush. It holds, we just go number one in there, uh, just to keep things nice and friendly inside. Um, we empty it probably once every four days, um, and it's super easy. Uh, it doesn't smell, um, and it's great. We have all of our toiletries here when we're, um, you know, waking up or going to bed, we just kind of pull it out. Uh, and use it and just transform our kitchen into a little bathroom. We have our underwear and socks and bathing suits in here as well. We also put these um, cabinet liners that kind of make it look like it's a bathroom floor and also keeps things from sliding around too much. This is our garage area. This is where the magic happens. So we have all of our electrical here. We have three 100 watts solar panels on the roof. Um, we have our solar charge controller, two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, uh, a 2000 watt inverter, and then over here we have a 30 gallon water tank. We also have a propane tank here that we sometimes connect, connect our um, camp stove to if we want to cook outside. Uh, we also have a tankless uh, propane water heater. Um, so if we want to use it, we just put the hose on the door and then we have an outdoor shower. We also have an extra six gallon water tank just in case we're somewhere where we can't connect to a hose to fill up our tank. We just connect through this and this has a spout that we fill up our big tank with. Uh, we have our inflatable stand up paddle board here. It takes up quite a bit of space, but we love it. So it's worth it. We have our yoga mats. 
Uh, we have our moonshade back there. Um, and we have a container here with some extra dry foods. It's basically half filled with oat milk because we are totally addicted to oat milk in our coffee. And we're always scared that we can't get it somewhere. Um, and then we have some extra warm clothes because we were driving to Mexico all the way from Canada, which is a huge change in climate. So we've just stuffed all of our winter clothes in there for storage. In the back back, the deep dark storage, we have a two person tent just in case any visitors are going to come by. We'll kick ourselves out, sleep in the tent and give them the luxurious mattress. Um, and then we also have a 12 and a half foot telescopic ladder for us to get on the roof if we need to clean the solar panels or anything like that. We have two windows on our doors and some of our magnetic window covers that we made. Uh, thank you YouTube for teaching us how to do that. Um, and that is the garage. Just before we left on our trip, we bought a whole bunch of camera equipment because we were really excited to um, make videos to keep a sort of a travel journal for our friends and family back home because this is something very new to them. Although we've been following people in this community on social media, um, I think a lot of people back home were a bit shocked by this um, decision and this lifestyle. And so they're having a lot of fun uh, watching us, you know, live the daily life of someone living in a van. So if you want to join our friends and family and follow along on this new journey of ours, you can follow us on Instagram and on YouTube. Our Instagram handle is Tal and Mads and our YouTube channel is also Tal and Mads. So hopefully we'll see a few of you in our in our comments and our DMs. <laughs> and yeah. feel free to reach out with any questions um, or comments about or any tips because we really don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking out our Van Billy and we'll see you on the road.